The job of a police officer isn't an easy one, guarding the public round the clock against criminals and their crimes, but every so often they have to deal with something that no one wants to deal with. A wild Karen! They love nothing more than annoying anyone in authority, trying to make their jobs 300 times harder especially police officers. But in today's video, we look at times when the long arm of the law decides it's heard enough from Karen Kine and fights back. This Karen decides to stick her nose in this cop's business after he's seen trying to enter a building, but she's completely shut down when he tells her that he lives there. Send me a citation. I would love to see that. I was support. And I have rear cameras on, on the way as well. I beefed at you, yeah, because you yeah, shouldn't like, be like trying to break into buildings. Break into buildings, I just showed you that I live here. Okay, but before that, I didn't know that, did I? Is it your business, once again? I live it's here, not. so it's safety of it's me not. and my building, well, it you, is. Well, yeah, you my key right here. Okay. And you're being recorded, too. Good. Okay? Like That's you said, good. It'll be on your citation. I'm not getting a citation. Oh, you are. <laughs> you are. No, I'm not. I'll fight it tooth and nail. Right, you still get one. Well, I'm not going to pay I'll it. See court, I'll see you in court, though. I'll see you in court, neighbor. Trying to be clever or sarcastic with a cop is never a good move, especially when they're telling you to move from a fire lane. Guess this Karen thought she was funny. Newsflash, she's not. Really bad day. Can you take your glasses off for me, please? Why is that? I don't feel safe with your glasses on, and I would like to see your eyes. Oh, you would? Yep. Okay. Where are you coming from? It's that's not that's not an issue. Okay. You have no right to ask me that. Where are you coming from? I'm just checking on you. Can you please take your glasses off so I feel a little safer? No, the sun's in my eyes. Okay, well then I, I will be leaving now. Okay. Thank you for your help, okay. officer. I've seen you but sitting here, so... Okay. I don't feel safe with your glasses on. Okay. I, I don't feel safe with your glasses no. on. Are you alright? I saw you, I passed by you here earlier. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not okay. Okay, what's going on then? I already told the other officer. What other, oh, the other, you talked to someone else? Yeah, the guy that wasn't wearing glasses. Okay. I don't talk to cops he that stopped, wear glasses. He by earlier? He was, okay, I'm not talking to you because you obviously don't have a clue what was going on. Okay, so are you leaving now or what? Why does it matter what I'm doing, officer? Well, you see that sign right there? What, the sign that says State Fish and Game Refuge? Uh, no, the, the other one, it says no parking fire lane. Is there a fire going on here? It doesn't matter. Okay. Okay. Thanks for the camera. Hi. You're welcome. Uh, so why don't you, uh, leave then? Okay, I'm going to leave that? right now. Yeah, I see it. Yeah, so I'll leave right there. now. Thank you. That's great. Thank you so much for your help, officer. Have a good day! This rule-bending Karen thinks she knows the law better than the police, as she's asked to leave this grocery store due to trespassing. And when she refuses, well, this happens. So I can't right, so, ask you to leave. Okay, so let me ask you this. Is it a law? What's the federal law that prevents me from wearing a mask, face mask? Federal not, law. Not federal. Okay, State so law. you don't know, State you don't order. know the law. Right? State order. No, 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 no. The law. The law, because I'm going okay. to get your badge number 34. and I'm going to see you as well. Okay. Okay. So, what is the federal law? A business law can ask you to leave for any reason. That prevents me from wearing a face mask. They don't have to provide you, you service. Do they, do they serve the public? Do I, do I pose any threat medically or physically? They don't know that. Okay, so you don't know that. So I am being a business can out refuse here. your service because a, why? For because any reason they want. Because I pose what kind of threat? They have a policy here. They're is following it a federal the, law? It, they're following is the state it mandate. Federal, it's not Ms. mandate. Do you have an idea? A, yes, it a is a federal mandate and a law. Two different things. This I, is I private this? property. It's no, 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 no. Yes, do yes, they is. serve the public? It, what do you need? Her ID? Yes. Do you have your ID? No, please? no, no, no. I'm not giving you my ID. Okay. Who's saying you got to come with us? No, no, no. Don't. Yes. Don't. Yes. Don't. We're going to touch you. Don't touch me. Put your hands behind your back. No. Put your hands behind your back. Relax, relax. No. You can keep her going relax. all you want, but we're going to put put it in your purse. Do you want to put cuffs on or not? Don't touch my phone. Don't touch. Don't touch my phone. I'm, oh, I'm relaxed. Come on, oh, let's yeah. walk out. Let's walk out. Oh. 
No, 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 no. Stop resisting. Oh, no, there's no resisting. Stop. You are pulling away from us. Oh, that is no, resisting. I'm not. You are trying to get free. Oh, that is resisting. No, no, no. Oh, I can't wait to see you. I can't wait to see you. This Karen thinks she's entitled to an entire park as she tries to remove people so she can exercise. How about some common courtesy, Karen? Sharing is caring, after all. But I don't think this Karen cares. I want you to film me. You need to stop this. So, I don't want to leave the park. My children, Okay, go ahead and play. It's a public park, man. We can't force you to Well, this Karen clearly isn't the sharpest tool in the shed, as she refuses to leave the store because she knows her rights. Well, the only thing she'll know from now on is the inside of a jail cell. No shirt, no shoes, stand no up, mask, stand no up. Service. No mask, no service. No mask, no service. Get your ass out. There's no reason why you shouldn't be able to shop without a mask on. Haven't you heard about the virus? Your masks don't work. This has been going on for almost a year now. If they work so well, why are people still getting sick? I wonder, stupid. Can you answer that question? Can yes. That yeah, question? I can because they don't wear their masks. Sick? They don't wear their masks. Oh, really? Is that what it is? Because one person, one person won't wear a mask. Um, goodbye. That's why the, the virus goodbye. is still going on after a year. You're. Can't bet. She's arrested. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. The audacity on display in this next clip is astounding as these Karens try to cite the law to a police officer. But thankfully, this patient policeman puts these Karens well and truly in their place. Check out line with my two items and uh, the cashier was going to check me out and some lady ran up named Amber and said, no, you're not to check them out. And so I, the, the, she threw the clothes sign down on the counter and I said, you know, I'm just trying to buy these two groceries and she didn't say anything. She walked away. So I put down the amount of money, actually more of the money that that is owed on the vinegar and the mustard. I left it on the counter and I said, so this is for the store. I'm leaving it and I'm leaving. Thank you. So what, what was the reason she gave for not wanting to She didn't. Say? She didn't say anything. She wouldn't talk to me. I don't know who Amber is. I just know she showed me her name. I asked for the store manager. Nobody came up at, at saying that they were the manager. So I just left the, the money on the counter. And Tom, I suppose he's the manager. Uh, he came up and actually touched me um, and forced his way in and grabbed my items out of my cart and said I wouldn't be able to purchase. Yeah, and they tried to, they follow us around and tried to take us out. He was very close to me the whole time. It felt very So the violated. details I had on the call screen is something about you guys not wearing masks and stuff. Right, right. That was, that was Tom. When I oh, really? Explained, yeah, when I explained the law and what is legal and what isn't. And so it's actually a felony for them to deny, especially when they're taking federal funding, which is food stamps. They can't, they can't deny that to us. Well, we, have, we have a litany of, of laws Yeah, we right know here. the laws. So. A mandate is a guideline. A mandate is 
not a law in government. Kate Brown can't make a law. I understand that. So that's where we're at. Okay. No, that's okay. Um, he knows law. The the problem is, is that these individual entities have their own regulations that they can follow. No, they no. Right. I'm not, sorry. Well, I'm not going to get. You I'm don't have. Get in a, I'm not going to get in a quandary well, we with you guys idea. on that because well, that's. We do know the law. Yeah. And it's a public accommodation. Anything right. that uh, any private business open to the public is a public accommodation, and therefore. And they also have a right to trespass. No, they do no, not. not uh, excuse me. Do they have hours of operation? They have a right to trespass. No, they do not. No, they, do. no, they don't. We deal with it all the time. Then there. that's illegal. You know, a false arrest is a punishable well, I'm not, too. I'm not going to take you to jail. I'm oh, good. So we're not doing anything wrong. That's great.